Your news in brief for Wednesday the 22nd of February. The Occupy protesters outside St Paul's have lost their High Court challenge and will have to be moved along later today. In an unrelated story, London's homeless figures are set to rise by a similar amount as they dropped in October of last year. Most of the new homeless were found living in tents outside St Paul's Cathedral. The CBI and Liam Fox are to ask the Chancellor later today to ease tax laws to make it easier for companies to hire and fire. Liam Fox will recommend that corporations only hire close personal friends and replace those annoying tax forms with homemade business cards. David Cameron is to speak in the House of Commons later today on racism in football. He will ask Premiership footballers to adopt a similar way of behaving as they do in the House of Commons, where of course very few people of colour are actually hired and those that are have to learn to speak like the white folk. A good night for the carrot tops at the Brits last night. I beg your pardon. I said a good night at the Brits for the carrot tops. Though. That's a bit offensive, isn't it? Hmm. Good night for the gingers. Better. The night's only blemishes were a drunken George Michael and Adele's second acceptance speech cut short. Fortunately, organisers ensured a cordon was present in front of the camera at the show's very worst moments. And on this day in history, in 1997, it was announced that a sheep named Dolly had been cloned. And on this day in history, in 1997, it was announced that a sheep named Dolly had been cloned. Celebrating a birthday today, Bruce, nice to see you, to see you nice, scores on the doors, you're so much better than last week, nothing for a pair, keep Forsyth is 82, higher, higher, 86, lower, lower, 84 today. Didn't he do well? This has been your News in Brief for Wednesday the 22nd of February.